Hi friends, welcome to Exams Daily YouTube channel. Today in this video, I would like to share you about the latest notification which was released by Bell. So before that, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and click the bell icon for daily updates. Bell is nothing but the Bharat Electronics Limited, which was located in Bangalore, Karnataka. So they have released a notification for the engagement of apprentices under Apprenticeship Amendment Act 1973. So they are inviting the applications from graduate engineers only for the training program of graduate apprenticeship. Uh, it will be held on uh, Bharat Electronics Limited Bangalore and they have also given some of the branches of engineering so you can check through it. So if you are interested and if you are eligible for this you can apply for this. So I will show you in a detailed manner and I explain you in a detailed thing. So the branch of engineering is uh, they have given some of the branch electrics engineering, electronics, mechanical and etc. So there are a lot of things. So you can apply for any of this. So next is about the eligibility criteria. So you should be an engineering graduate on or after June 2018. So not near that. And next is about the pass percentage. So for uh, each and every category, the pass percentage is changing. So for general, 60 percentage and for CST and PWD candidates, 50 percentage is enough. So they have mentioned these things and if you are applying for this, you should be a Karnataka citizen rather than any of the state belonging citizen, you will not be able to apply for this and you are not uh, expected to do that also. So they have mentioned like this. So the next is about the age limit. So minimum age limit for general category is 25 years. Age relaxation has also been given for some of the categories that is ST, SCST, OBC candidates also. So if you are belonging to that category, you can check through it. So next is about the physical standards. So they have given and they have mentioned the physical standards about of apprenticeship rule 1992. So you can check through it. And for further details, you can log into the official website. So for your convenience, we have given this official website in the description box. And next is about the previous training and experience. So you should undergo or undergoing apprenticeship, you are not eligible or you should have one year or more experience. If, if you are having that, you will not be or eligible to apply also. So you should be a fresher candidate. So the next is about selection process. So you have to do your application through offline mode that is through speed post and then uh, you will be based purely on your merit come uh, marks that is uh, which have been secured in your BE or BTEC. So they have given the reservation right so you will be based on the you will be selected based on the reservation as pair of government rules and you will be informed only through your SMS and email. So while doing your application procedure please give your valid email which you are relevantly using. So it, it will be a communicative base and a platform for you. So please give your relevant email. And next is about the list of shortlisted candidates. So once you have been selected, you will your names and um, will be shortlisted and it will be appeared in the official website. So once they give any information or update regarding this examination, we will also update you for your convenience. And next is about the travel expenses. So they have strictly said that no TA or DA will be paid for attending certificate verification. And boarding and lodging also, it will also be not paid. It will be of own risk only. So they have given the relevant information for the candidates that is the apprenticeship program will be of one year and the stipend paid for that is uh, 4,984 which was prescribed of both Chennai. But present rate of stipend is 110 rupees per month. So canteen and transport facility will be provided on chargeable basis only. So you have to be verifying that also. And see OPT medical uh, facility will be also provided by as per of the company norms. And uh, insurance policy will be also having a coverage of 5 lakhs. It will also be provided for you. So you have to be a man, you have to have a register in NATS website that is web portal. It is a mandatory thing. So you have to go to that official website though. So here they have given this website. So you have to be a member and next you should produce your original marks, marks card certificates uh, at the time of document verification. It is a procedure, right? So you have to do that and they have given some of the uh, things. 
you can check through it so on the last day to apply for this is 23 1 2021 so please be aware of that thing only a few days are there and please do your application procedure as soon as possible and if you're having any queries related to this program you can mail through them they have also mentioned the mail so you can mail through them and ask your doubts and queries and etc so they have given the application format so this is the application format which was given by them so either you can download that or you can type that and uh, you have to do your application through on offline mode through speed post only so uh, here you have to give your registration number that is in NATS so you have to enroll that and you have to give the registration number your name and your personal details and uh, your uh, percentage your educational qualification related things and finally you have to do your signature so if you are doing these things you will be placed and you will be selected based on that and uh, for your convenience we have given this pdf link in the description box so that you can get relevant information also so that's it if you like this video and if you think this video is very useful for you don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and click the bell icon for daily updates thank you